in part 5 of the series, we're now going to just go over how the bot's functioning and do some minor changes to finish up everything we've done. So now let's go back to our bot AI tree and add this to the tree. I'm going to add this to this selector, service, BTS, bot, detect enemy. Now you got this huge mushroom right here. Now you, what you have to do now is where it says state, go to state, enemy actor, enemy actor, radius. Now since I did not set the default value, let's just go back really quick. And we'll set this to 256. Save compile. And so now that we have this set up, you can remove chase. Cancel that. Let's rename this to detect enemies nearby. Let's rename this to change walk speed. Move to enemy. Attack enemy. And the rest are done accordingly. Now, if you want to get rid of these parameters that you see that are visible outside of the task, you see where it says show property details. Let's uncheck that. Now the last thing you want to do is find routes. You want to type in six. Save. Now that this is all done, let's go back to the bot AI and see where it says BT asset. Let's do bot AI tree. And that's what we just created. Compile. Tell about this and Initialize bot AI. And now let's set up some simple points here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's number these zero. That's fine. Keep make it random. One, two. Three, four, five, and that's it. Now we just simply place the bot. And let me move my spawn to this side. Let's go back to our bot character and let's make one critical change. Go to default, scroll to the bottom, and where it says AI controller class, let's change that to bot AI.
Let's go back to our bot AI tree and let's add one missing decorator. We, we can go to BTD bot update route. BTD, BTD bot update route. And remember that updates the route once it's successfully completed the route. Let's go back again. Save all. Let's open BTD update route and make the route edible. Save that, compile. Let's go back to the bot tree and we want to set this to route so that way it updates the route. And we do update route. Save. And let's simulate so we can get, get in game. And as you can see, it's alive. It's alive! Ah, it's only taken, I, I don't know, an extended amount of time, right? So let's actually check out the tree so we can see what's going on. As you see, detect enemies nearby. It's telling it to patrol. You can tell by numerator zero. That's the zero position. You can see it updates the route every time and then it resets. Okay, let's go back to our tree. We want to make sure that we have the BTS bot detect enemy. We want to have the blackboard decorators and this decorator forcing it to create a successful return, move to enemy, attack enemy. And this is attack and destroy sequence. And under move to enemy, we want to add 256. Under detect enemies nearby, we want to do a 512. Would be good. Change walk speed. Leave that the 2.0. This is the normal patrolling speed. And we have these other two conditions set up properly. Route, route. That's fine. That's fine. Now while in here, let's go to BTT bot move the enemy. You can just double click this and it will immediately open the corresponding task. Now where it says set new focus, we already have our AI linked. Now where it says cast a character, set that as a new focus. Under R interpret 2, let's pick this to the new rotation. And we want to add in one final change. We need to do equal enum and failed. So if this bot is trying to move to the player and fails, this could mean a number of things. They're stuck behind a wall. Uh, the, play, the player they're trying to reach is unreachable by, by nav mesh. And we basically want to just add this to this branch right here. And so if it's failed, just, just finish off. If it's not failed, then you want to update the player. So let's compile that. And now let's go in game. Detect me. He's shooting. You see that? Oh, it's, it's on now. It's mad. I, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't take it. Leave me alone. Oh, no, I almost got away. And now you see the bot goes away and continues his normal pathing. Oh, sorry, now you know the AI goes back to its normal task. I know this tutorial was a bit lengthy, but you see how in-depth I got into the AI. 
I was hoping to make this area well enough to where you feel confident and capable of making your own AI. And if I've done that for you, I'm it would it would make me super happy if you subbed and also let me know. And if you have any complications, because I'm sure not everything translated a hundred percent, please let me know. I will get back to you as soon as I can and do my best to help you with any problems you're having. So now we're going to say bye to this guy. Oh, stop shooting me. I like, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. Just get away. You see him? What is he doing? What is he, what is he doing? I'm, yeah, see? Just go back. Let's go back to what you're doing. It's my house. My house. All right, everyone. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching my tutorial. I'll be uploading more every week. So be sure to subscribe and peace.